Hello, welcome to the tutorial video for Presentation Master theme for Concrete 5. Presentation Master works with uh, Concrete version 5.5.1 and newer. Um, it is built on uh, this other responsive theme that I made called Flex 1200, which is basically a fluid grid uh, that's, that's responsive. Um, uh, and Presentation Master is a, uh, basically a custom version of that. Uh, it comes with uh, two different uh, page types, uh, in, well it also includes a default layout as well, which basically is just the sidebar with, um, with the uh, full width here, too, but that's not shown here. What you see here is the uh, page type called uh, Dashboard, um, and as you see it's three columns, too, and it's again uh, it goes up to 1200 pixels wide uh, it's responsive um, and uh, too so it works on a variety of si screen sizes here and um, I added some basic styling here for the uh, auto nav block the login block um, you can add uh, global content up here in the header uh, a breadcrumb navigation here and then some just real basic breadcrumb or not breadcrumb, uh, just some co uh, copyright content down here. Um, it comes with a block called Quick Post, uh, which I'll show you a little bit more about here in just a second. Um, too, so you can use that as basically an announcement. Um, so as you can see, uh, this this demo here, I kind of did this, set this up as basically what you could do as a uh, e-learning package. Um, this seems is, uh, is ideal, most ideal for e-learning. That's what I really built this for. But also, you, you could really use it for a flat level website, uh, or perhaps, you know, if you want to have multiple, uh, you know, uh, single page websites as well, um, to, uh, with, but in the format of a presentation, uh, like a full screen presentation thing, which is a pretty interesting uh, approach to this. The other page type here uh, is called presentation. And uh, it uses page attributes uh, to divide up the page uh, into sections that you can customize. Um, and you can add any kind of blocks you want to them. Um, so basically, you know, if you wanted to create lessons, you could just you know, add your basic content. Uh, as you can see down here in the corner, there's a navigation. Here you can go between next. Uh, the first slide here is that one, but you can go back to the last one. So it, it goes in a continuous loop. Uh, like that, uh, and also you can cut to a uh, slideshow with down here in this other corner uh, with this numbered uh, pagination uh, navigation. So let me show you how this works. Um, the, now in this version here uh, of Concrete, basically it's a blank setup um, of Concrete 5.6. Um, so uh, in the dashboard here, if you wanted to customize the theme, you can do that. I added a number of options. Um, so you can, you know, if you wanted to change the appearance of it, you, you know, with the, the main background color, uh, you can do that here as well. Well, you can do do that to whatever you know, whatever you want to do. Um, you know, you can add your own CSS things like that. I'm not going to change any of this right now. Just wanted to show you that. Um, so let's say we want to add a page. Uh, there's, again, like I said, there's two different page types. Now, if I was to, there, there's dashboard and there's presentation, uh, which is included with the theme. Uh, however, if you were to choose any of these other ones, you're going to end up with a, 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 the default layout, which is basically just uh, the right sidebar, which is what Concrete already uses uh, as its default layout so um, which is also responsive too so but let's say we want to go ahead and go with dashboard which is the three column layout and uh, let's say uh, we want to create like maybe an e-learning uh, sub site or something on our demo here so let's go with uh, uh, maybe uh, Lesson area. Uh, we can forget the description for now. And then uh, we need to apply the theme. Presentation. 
and then uh, so in edit mode again uh, you can add global content up here so whatever you add up here is going to show up on any page uh, that uses the uh, uses this theme so uh, that makes it a lot easier so if you want to add your logo and some custom content up here uh, <coughs> you should keep it pretty simple though uh, since it's going to be you know it's going to have to be able to fit on smaller si screen sizes too you know if that's your intention um, so you can also add uh, any other content to that you want to these uh, as well uh, we'll not post anything on here for now. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I wanted to show you the block here. I just now remembered that. It's the middle of the night here making this video, so it's a bit late. Um, mine's not really here. Uh, the block is called Quick Post. So, uh, and it's real simple, a little block. Uh, you can just add whatever you want uh, to it. You know, let's say uh, announcement. Uh, to so fill our text here. Say so we want to link to a page. Now you don't have to link to a page if you don't want um, to. But uh, if so, if you don't, it, it it won't. You know, it'll just it won't link to anything if you do that. You don't you don't have to add an image either. This stuff is just optional. But let's say let's say we want to do that anyway. Um. Let's say we want to link to a different page and say go to lesson or something like that. Like, so, you know, so maybe we're creating an announcement about, you know, our e-learning lesson or something that we have on here. We want them to go check out the new lesson or something like that. You have a nice little image there. And there you go. Uh, and it shows, it will show the date. Uh, that you posted it on. So you could use this as a blog, as a like a little micro blog or whatever you want to do. I mean, it's you know you can. There's pretty much no limit to what you can do, and you could even add it to the uh, to the uh, presentation type page, uh, page type as well as a slide as well if you wanted to. So let's publish that. Now let's say we want to add. The presentation. Now you have to you have to choose the presentation page type for this. Uh, to, to, now, as you'll see here, it adds the custom page attribute slide titles. Uh, you got to make sure it has that on here. So let's say our we'll, we'll call this first lesson. This is my first lesson. Uh, and then we'll say maybe intro. We'll add a, four sections here. Add that. Uh, we'll say theories of history. Let's say, and then maybe a fourth one, like say conclusion or something. And uh, so once you have those on there, you. Dude, of course, you can always go back and edit this, too, if you want. Um, so now, as you can see, it, it added these sections to the page here. Uh, you can jump to, you can actually jump to each section uh, to edit that area. And uh, again, it's fluid width. So whatever your content you put in here, make sure, you know, that it's not, you know, too big or something. You know, make sure it will work with the, it should work with the fluid width. Uh, if you're posting a video on here, I would not recommend going higher than maybe 300 pixels wide, uh, simply because, you know, if it's going to show up on a smaller screen size, uh, like, say, an iPhone or something, it, you know, it might might not fit on there too well. So, because uh, right now there's no support for any uh, responsive videos or anything like that right now. Uh, that's something I might add later. So, uh, that's... Uh, pretty much how this thing works uh, so as you can see there's there's almost no limit you can add as many of these as you want uh, you can always go back and again you can always go back and edit this stuff up here in properties page properties custom attributes so you should see that here so say you want to remove one of them just save it uh, and now what you want to do uh, is refresh the page uh, for that to, to see that. So now, as you see, there's only three sections here. 
So uh, there you go. Uh, that's Presentation Master. Uh, again, the idea is to help you create an online presentation uh, out of your website. So uh, thanks for watching.